Do you want to be able to see your base's energy levels anywhere, anytime? Well, I've got just the solution for you. So first of all, you'll want to build a PC. So you'll need a computer case tier 3, a CPU tier 3, graphics card tier 3, memory tier 3.5, internet card, wireless network card tier 2, hard disk drive tier 3, screen tier 3, charger, keyboard, EEPROM Lua BIOS, and OpenOS. So place your case, insert all of the components, then place the screen next to it. I'll place the charger behind and put the keyboard on the screen. Connect the charger to power and right click it with a wrench using the computer case turn on the PC. Write install, yes. And press Y, enter. Then copy the command from the video's description. Paste it in using the middle mouse button. Press enter. Alright, it booted up. Now place the adapter next to your Lapatronic capacitor's controller and run the open computer's cable from it to the PC. Place the glasses terminal next to your PC and right click with your AR glasses on it. Okay, let's configure the software now. I will reboot it just in case. And okay, now go to HUD. Activate and primary server activate. Select primary server, configure, main server should be enabled and select power capacitor, this random string of letters and numbers. Save configuration. Then select HUD, configure, select at glasses your name, check the resolution, set it to your screen's resolution. Scale should be set to according to your Minecraft scale. So one is small, two is normal, three is large and four is auto. I'm on 3 large. UTC offset, this is your time zone, you can google that. My time zone is 3. You can change the colors if you want. And now enable active modules. I'll enable energy display, toolbar overlay, and notifications. Save configuration and save here on the bottom. Okay, let's reboot it and let's click run. Now put on your AR glasses. You can either use the helmet slot or the necklace slot. And now we see the energy info and the time. All right, I connected some power to the capacitor and then you can see it's charging right now. So to enable auto run, you go to settings, auto run enabled, save configuration, save, and you can test it with a reboot. It's frozen now since it's starting up and it's running again. So thanks for watching everyone. If this was helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more of my videos. See you all later.